Someone sent me some knives to try out, and that someone is master thrower Adam Cheladin himself. You've probably heard of him, he has several world championship titles, he's on YouTube, and he's literally beaten cancer. That's basically the closest you get to returning from the dead. Check him out if you haven't yet. So this was a great opportunity for me to try to learn no spin throwing. I've looked into the basic technique before, but I've never practiced regularly, so trying to figure out how this works. And to not start out with total failure, I warmed up with some spin throws. Spin. Not perfect distance, as you can tell by the way they're oriented, but um, that works. I'm second guessing my decision to put this stand where a lot of fallen leaves are. There, now you can see better too, isn't that fantastic? There we are. So what I can say about these is that they are massive. And pretty thick steel and the points are very strong. Essentially they're just just pointed enough to penetrate, but they should be very durable. Yeah, it was still too much rotation. No. Come on. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Super short distance, yeah. Amazing feat of skill right here. I guess you gotta start somewhere, huh? Well, you go to Adam's channel for professional throwing, you go to my channel for random bullshit and swords. Uh -huh. Yay. A little tiny bit further away. Uh huh. Uh huh. A little further. Yay! Okay. Starting to get a feel for it. You know what? Ignore that. Um, these really help, I gotta say. Like the way they're weighted. You can do this. Yeah, sorta. Oh yeah! Wow! Okay, that went way better. Interesting! It almost feels like you have to trust the knives to do the thing for you to an extent. Um, it's kind of like... Whoop. <laughs> okay, that's a little weird, but... Of course, if you're a real professional, I didn't expect that major stick. <laughs> I mean, if somebody tries to jump you from a close distance, just chuck them all at their face. Something's gonna happen, I guess. Just don't do it with a bear. It'll get you mauled. feeling when you're starting to get the hang of something you're like oh oh hey I can I can maybe do this thing it feels way different now what yeah the camera looks dorky it's the only way I get first person footage deal with it <laughs> shit come on Mosquito, hello! Die! So far I'm not really noticing much of a difference between, between the two. You'd think they would feel a lot different, but I'm not sure if I was blindfolded. I could necessarily tell. Um, these should penetrate a little more easily. Not that I've, again, noticed a major difference, but observations of dubious value. Oh yeah. 
That was a little close. Totally intentional for the tight grouping and shit. Uh, trust me, I know what I'm doing. Not. It's always a tricky thing with the spin throw. You gotta know exactly how close you are, how to hold it. Let's see, if I go further back. Nope, still further. There we go. Further and reverse. Oh yeah. Even further. Almost. As you get the hang of it, the, the no spin is really neat because distance doesn't matter that much. I mean, it matters, but essentially more about accuracy. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you still have to adjust the technique a bit. Because uh, what I can get away with here, at such a short distance, I can't get away with further away. If I mess it up, I can't even get away with this. But. So yeah, these are definitely fun to throw. Further away. Come on. Kim Moon, you can do this. Okay. Finding throwing lightly helps a lot. I mean, you gotta throw hard enough that it sticks, but basically letting the weight of the knife uh, give it enough momentum that it actually sticks. And for a bit more diverse fun, my favorite thing to throw, axe. Still the Sog Fast Hawk that I had already in, what, 2013? Held up really well. Here. Correct distance established. I mean, it can still fail to stick, but as long as you have the right distance, it's pretty easy. Boom. Closer, I have to throw more gently. You like me some axes. <laughs> well, I suppose that's one way to do it. An incorrect way, but still a way. There we are. Adam does all these super cool trick throws and whatnot. I can't do that. All right, so what's my impression of these things so far? I really like them. They throw quite nicely. They are sturdily built. It's massive steel. I haven't noticed any damage to them. Oh, they hit the gravel a couple of times and all that, but uh, can't see anything on them. The only strange thing is that the points are all a little bit different. Well, some of them have almost a bit of a chis semi-chisel shape to them, others are differently shaped. So, a little bit inconsistent, but does it matter? Not really. Otherwise, they are well shaped and um, they do help learning the no spin throw because it can be a little tricky at first, especially if all you've ever done is spin throw. It's a quite a different technique and the balance helps you know the the way they're rounded helps you can just you know release them pretty clean and there's also the the corners here are beveled so they are not sharp to the touch they're not uncomfortable to hold they don't have a sharp edge here it's just a spike so you can handle them any way you want you can throw them like this as well if you want um, lots of options and yeah they have, have this nice rustic finish to them, which looks pretty neat too. So yeah, I like them. I very much do like them. Uh, thank you, Adam, for sending them to me. Highly appreciate it. And I'll definitely mess around with these some more and maybe I'll get halfway decent at the no spin throw. As usual, I'll put the relevant link down below. Check it out. Hope you found this entertaining and thanks for watching. And if the accuracy is a little off, you can always compensate with quantity. Some of them are going to stick. 